Hello and welcome! I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let us continue Conquest of Comania. These daughters are becoming very useful. We're wedding them off one by one to powerful empires. So let's wrap up our little independence war here. And I forgot to convert this guy when he came of age. That's the problem. Alright, so he surrenders, which means we get to imprison him. Which also means that we can probably revoke his title because he's a traitor. Um, the problem with revoking is that he'll keep his money. So instead, I'm going to... I'm not going to banish him. I don't really want to... If I execute him, then his kid becomes the heir. The money stays in the realm. It's really a small amount of money. I just don't like getting... I'll do this. I'm going to ransom him. I want that money. Okay, so that war's done. Let's go deal with the two... The two mercenary bands. Okay, crushed his revolts. Depending, defending versus infidels. Let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and send you 20 gold. That you know, he just gave me 70, so I'll send him 20 back, and then demand that he converts, and then he'll no longer be a problem. There we go. Now our vassals love us. And again, one of the reasons they like us so much is that we are technically defending versus infidels right now because of these two holy wars. Or not holy wars, the, uh, the invasions from the two mercenary bands. That gives plus 30 relations with everyone. So that's good. Got another daughter. Let's see if the Fatimids want an ally. Now later on, I am going to have some problems with, um, you know, attacking these people because um, now they're allies. So I'm going to have to deal with the attacking an ally penalty, but that's okay. I'd rather have them as allies for now than than not. I'll take this lowly count. That's fine. He's close, so he'll help us. One of them's pregnant. Finally. Better be a boy. Again, this game's going f just fine, but if we don't get a boy, the game ends when I die. And I'm 35 now, and I'm a dwarf. I've got some problems. All right, so let's end one of these wars. Thank you for all the prestige. Appreciate it. Let's release and re-raise so we can get more men. Got to re-rally here. Make sure we're not crossing any of those things. There we go. Apparently a caliph died. Our invasion's going poorly because of the king having a chance here to re recuperate his holdings while we deal with these two invasions, but it's going to turn pretty quickly. We've got quite a few allies coming in, and the, the entire Seljuk army will eventually get up here. In fact, they'd probably win the war for us. Doing great on income now. 12 gold a month. After getting rid of the... Yay! It's a son, Tyrion. Tyrion the second, who's not a dwarf. Fantastic. The game will now continue. But yes, after getting rid of the mercenaries, um, we actually have positive income. And I really don't want to hire men. Mm. We'll just go deal with these rebellions while we wait for the, the armies to recuperate. Unfortunately, he does have enough men right now that he's... He's able to squash any of these... Uh, cool. Killed somebody.
Watch that rebellion. Now it's it only shows us two thousand. Well, it shows us two thousand men. Only a thousand of them are ours. The Bay Kachar, Kochar has has uh, appended his army to mine, so he's just following me around. Let's see. Can we get more men? Yes, we can. Fifteen hundred, and we've lost the greedy trait. Let's see if I can. Um <laughs> okay, so it's another lunatic event. So you are sitting on the floor of your bedchamber wearing one of your shoes as a hat. <laughs> when suddenly a man sized gopher enters the room, <laughs> it is dressed as a maid. And when you shout in alarm, the rodent squeaks and skitters away in panic. You chase it down the hall, but find only a terrified maid cowering on the floor. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. So, I just love it. You're wearing one of your shoes as a hat. That's just it's perfect. Being a lunatic has probably been the most most fun. <laughs> that's great. So, okay, I'm actually going to hire some more mercenaries, even though we just had a few problems with them, because um, we need to win this war. We'll take... Um, ooh, he's good. Yeah, let's take him. Because our company? Yeah. Okay, and now we can actually pick an ambition. In ambition, let's, you know, let's try to amass wealth. Sure, sounds good. Now we'll have enough men to actually beat him and then continue with a successful invasion. I don't really want to wait for the Seljuks to actually come up here. They're probably dealing with their own war. Hey, it's another dwarf daughter. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, he's doing his own little little deal. Some some war. Okay, so we've got enough there. 5,000 men should be sufficient. Let's cross the bridge. Let's go here. Fight him off and then just continue to sack the stuff. And I think we'll have enough money to support these mercenaries. Okay, another war, another victory. Ooh, and that's unfortunate. Part of his army got involved with rebels. Yeah, it's the exact same event. That's that's too bad. I like those events. I think they're hilarious. All right, so five thousand. That's not a good idea. Let's go back here. We'll take this one again. Should I have another daughter coming of age soon? Oh, apparently she died. This one's 14. She'll be old enough soon. Okay, this is going to rapidly snowball in the right direction. We'll siege through his holdings. And despite the high fort level, I will assault this. One, two, three. And what else do you own personally? These. We'll go here. Somebody died due to a rebel, the rebel, rebels somewhere. Apparently in that county there. Again, we'll assault because we've got those fantastic horse archers. Somebody died. Chancellor's doing a great job at something. Not really sure what, not paying any attention to that. I just want to win this war. Okay, so we're going to make our horse Chancellor again, apparently. No, we're not. That's silly. Let's make Russia like us, just for fun. I'm going to attack him soon anyway, but... And I'm feeling pretty good. I think that we'll win this this battle here. 
One of my wives has been caught trying to serve a cup of poison tea to one of my other sons. Um, so apparently she's trying to kill my only son. That That's not okay. Um, let's just kill her. I don't really care. I don't want her to kill my son, that's for sure. But let's find another one to marry. How about... Yeah, this one here. She's almost old enough. We'll need to arrange betrothal. It's close. We might actually lose. No! Shoot. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Oh, run away! See how powerful these guys are in that initial phase? Shoot, I'm wounded! And this guy has actually won the second fight. Because the defensive... Yeah, he crushed him. Okay, wounded isn't anything. Isn't everything. We're only 37. We should be okay. It's definitely time we're going to release our 100 men. We lose 50 by doing it out in the enemy's territory. But then we can re-raise many, many more. Okay, let's rally to here. Except that you guys need to go there first, and then there. That way we avoid the rebels. Just ignore the rebels for now. Another daughter to marry off. Let's see, who is not allied to us? Apparently this count. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry if that was too loud. Arrange marriage. Here, have my wife. Have my, have my daughter. Apparently I have two daughters that need to get married. You are not my ally for some reason. He is... How old? Eleven. Range patrol. I think I have an eleven-year-old-ish. Let's see here, my thirteen-year-old. You can have that one when it comes of age. Yes, recovered from the wound. Nothing to fear. Alright, come on, let us win this war this episode. Another daughter. Gosh. Not seeing any more independent Sunnis. Except for the Fatimids, but we've already kind of dealt with that. We've got quite a few people assisting us now. These daughters are proving useful. We do have to, I mean, I have to siege a tremendous amount of his land to win an invasion like this, because his land, he has so much land. Shoot, intercepted part of my army. Um, he has so much land that each individual county is not worth very much, and you don't get the ticking war score unless you hold all of the kingdom. So it's just a very slow pro process. You can always hire those mercenaries that rebelled, us against, rebelled against us earlier. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? 
We've got, we've got the money for it now. Look at this income of 150 a year. Decent. Plus a tithe. Constant revolts everywhere. It's annoying. Can I end this war in the next few minutes? Oh, come on. Don't, don't start some silly independence faction. What's your problem? Oh, whatever. So they're crusading for Jerusalem. We'll see how that goes. And I think we just basically need to... Can't seem to hunt him down, but we'll go here and take his last territory, his own personal holding. Up to 88%. I want to just basically crush his army one more time and then take over any other any other county. And we should be able to force the invasion. And it looks like if, if that actually happens, I might even have time to... Okay, can we catch you? Gosh, you are quick. You must have a... Commander that has the... Ooh, whatever it's called. The trait that lets you move quicker. There we go, 100%. Apparently he was imprisoned somehow. One of our one of our allies captured him. So, okay, so we won. Ta-da! All right, and I actually do have time to cover exactly what happens now. So, this is different from a holy war, right? So, we did we did inherit some of the land. One county became ours. Um, and then these are our vassals, and you'll notice that these guys um, are subjugated. So even though we've conquered them, you know, they have a plus 75 relations bonus. Fortunately, um, or unfortunately rather, they're all the wrong religion, and they're also all the wrong, for the most part, most of them are, well, they're all cumin. I'm cumin. Cumin, that's good. So most of them are going to be the right culture. Now the great thing about an invasion in Casa Spelli is that these holdings didn't change hands so the levy and income of the county isn't affected those penalties that you get only happen when the owner changes hands so the advantage to doing invasions if you can win them is that this land is now going to fuel the army by giving us more money and more levy the problem is that there's quite a bit of uh, Micromanagement. And this vassal here, guess who he is? Uh, he is the former emperor, or king, Khan, whatever. Chief Saru, the ill ruler. So he still holds those three counties. He's still imprisoned. Um, looks like he does not have a strong claim on the kingdom. But, um, you know, he's one of the vassals. Now, what I could do is I could go through my court and try to convert them all, but I'm just not going to worry about it. We'll just we'll just let it be. And instead, do the only rational thing, which is to take our newfound army and declare another holy war. <laughs> declare war. Oh, here, let's get rid of these. Get rid of those. And guess what? Guess what, guess what, guess what? It's the invasion of Russia! <laughs> Now here's the thing, you can't do constant rolling invasions unless you have over about a thousand piety, because in order to maintain relationships, you definitely need to have the plus 20 relations from having a, a ton of piety, and this costs 500 piety to declare. So if you only have 500 piety, when you declare, you lose 20 relations with all your vassals, which is very, very bad. But... Um,
And the other thing that happened is that we did destroy the Duchy of Sarkel because my highest tier holding is the Duchy of Bulgar. He cannot, he cannot hold that Duchy while being my vassal because he, they put him on the same level as me. So it just ends up getting destroyed. I'm going to keep it this way. In fact, I'm probably going to just keep playing as a duke until, until it makes sense to actually raise myself up to kingdom or empire level. Um, we don't get the advantage of crown law, which means that the levy may or may not be good from this territory, but it also ensures that I have some control, some direct control over individual counties because they're all going to be my direct vassals, which also means I'm going to have a good income. So um, in the next episode, we'll probably declare an invasion on this, this person. Um, but in the meantime, I do want to get rid of this territory, so let me do that before I forget. Search the realm for men who are not in prison, who are any marriage, not ruler. Yes, my culture. Yes, my religion. Sort by stewardship. Bam. You can have that county down there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.